Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to show you a little secret that we learned for our Garmin Autopilot from Garmin Support. So we built our 29 foot Ocean Runner in 2018, had the Autopilot mounted, everything was working great. But this year we started having problems where our boat icon on the screen was turning sideways. So if you're going straight, it looks like the boat is traveling sideways, that's called crabbing. The reason for that is because the heading sensor cannot determine the exact heading that your boat is going and your Garmin units are being tracked by satellite so the satellite positioning is trying to put you somewhere and your heading sensor thinks that you're going in a different direction. So we did some testing with Garmin and they showed us a secret that you could do by testing your unit to see the magnetic interference that it's caused. We did this test with Garmin and they showed me you press a button and it shows you the magnetic interference that you're getting on your heading sensor based on the position on the boat. This is critical when you're mounting a new unit in the boat, or if you already have one and you wanna make sure that it's in a spot where it's not getting any magnetic interference from the piping on your center console, everything else on the boat. It's always gonna have interference, but you need to put it in the place where it has the least amount of interference. We're gonna jump aboard now and we're gonna show you how you can easily do this to your unit if you already have one and want to make sure it's in a good spot or you're thinking about putting one and before you mount it, you put it in the best position. All right guys, so now we're on the boat. We've got our Garmin Autopilot powered up and here's the steps that you need to take. You're gonna press menu. Then you're gonna go down to setup. Press select. Then you're going to scroll down to system and you're going to press select. Now you're going to scroll down here until you get to system information. And if you pass it, you could just, it'll start back over again. You could just keep hitting down. But you press select. Now on system information, it tells you what version of the software you have and all that. And you're going to take your three keys that you have here and you're going to press and hold the right one. You're gonna hold it down for a few seconds and the diagnostic button now appears, okay? And when you press that diagnostic button, you're gonna scroll down to Compass Diagnostics. And when you hit select, right on your screen, you're gonna see magnetic environment is a 79. What that's telling you is that it's a 79 out of 100. The closer you are to 100, keep in mind that you're never gonna be at 100 on a boat because you have a lot of things that are made of metal that are interfering with it but we'll, the closest that you are to 100 that's the perfect spot to put that heading sensor hey guys thank you for watching please give the video a thumbs up and a like and hit that subscribe button and follow us for more of our content